ABC 7 News at 6.30. Well, coming up here next, the decision to clear-cut those trees for a solar installation. And the promising new treatment for an ailment that has become all too common as we age. Back pain is one of the most common medical conditions affecting 8 out of 10 of us at some point in our lives. Now Bay Area surgeons are turning to new technology to help correct a painful and debilitating back problem, spinal stenosis. It's becoming more prevalent among aging baby boomers. Good. Stand up. Truck driver Tim Taylor is recovering from a back problem so severe he says it was ruining his life. I couldn't stand up straight because it was just too excruciating and painful to do it. And I always walked sideways with a lisp, kind of leaning forward. Tim was suffering from spinal stenosis. It's a degenerative condition that strikes most often in people over 50 and is taking an increasing toll on aging baby boomers. It's definitely an orthopedic epidemic. Uh, within the next 10 years, the numbers of these problems is going to increase at least tenfold. We could see these big bone spurs now. Dr. Kenneth Light says the condition is triggered by a narrowing in the spinal canal. That narrowing is often caused by bone spurs that form on the vertebrae, compressing the surrounding nerves. He says correcting severe cases like Tim's can involve a combination of delicate procedures. Even when I saw him, uh, the nerves were compressed to such a point that, number one, uh, I thought that they might be damaged during the operation. But improved technology is making it possible to safely reshape the spine with far better results. This warning system uses electrodes to locate neural pathways and sounds an alarm if a surgeon gets too close to a nerve. We have smaller instruments and um, they allow us to manipulate the spine in ways that we could not do 20 years ago. In Tim's case, Dr. Light's team had to first separate the individual vertebrae with a system of spacers that's been refined in recent years. He was then able to remove the bone spurs and widen the spinal canal itself. Finally, screws were placed to fuse the vertebrae to a post-like device for support. And once we do that, the spinal nerves uh, miraculously, in most cases, the nerves heal and uh, the patient's able to walk again. It took nearly a year for Tim's back to heal completely, and while he has yet to return to his passions of hunting and fishing, he says he is feeling stronger week by week. I'm not walking with a cane anymore. Uh, I, can, I, get out and I, I can do things. I can get out in the yard. I can do gardening. I can things that before were just not even possible for me. And Dr. Light says fusion, fusion rather, isn't necessary in many cases. The newer procedure removes less bone, he says, increasing the odds that the spinal column will remain stable after surgery. Mm, that's promising. All right, let's go back and update the weather.